it's your girl Jade over at the Fork and Photo channel. And today we'll be doing a one skillet pumpkin sausage and sage cheese tortellini. So let's get into it, okay? First thing first, get your favorite skillet. Mine is cast iron. And drizzle one to two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and bring that up to heat. Once your olive oil is hot, add one pound of your ground sausage and begin to brown it. And while your meat is browning, you know you have to season it and you also know I don't measure this. So add some complete seasoning or any type of all purpose seasoning you have as well as some Italian seasoning or like y'all bougie people like to call it herbs de Provence. It's dried seasoning y'all. That's all it is. And stir. <laughs> Once your sausage is done browning, remove it from the pan and set it to the side. Do not rinse the pan out. Leave all that goodness there. And to that same hot skillet, you wanna add about two tablespoons of butter. Let that butter get melted down nice and foamy. And then you're gonna add in your aromatics. Start off with your whole sage leaves and just let those sit there and allow those to fry up. And you're also going to add your chopped shallot, and that's about half of a shallot, as well as two to three cloves of roasted garlic. You can use minced garlic or just fresh garlic, but if you like to make roasted garlic, I will put the link in the description box to my roasted garlic recipe. While your sage is frying, be sure to stir your garlic and your shallot so that it does not burn. Once your sage leaves are fried, remove them, and then add your one cup of chicken stock to the pan to deglaze. While your chicken stock is coming to a simmer, add the chopped sage, stir, and continue to allow the heat to rise. Once your chicken stock is simmering and you see the small bubbles, stir and add 3 4th cups of heavy whipping cream. Stir together the chicken stock and the heavy whipping cream until it is well combined. Then add 1 cup of pumpkin puree. The pumpkin puree is going to be very thick. So when stirring to combine the puree with the heavy whipping cream, make sure to stir slowly. Otherwise, your sauce mixture will be all over the stove. Once your pumpkin cream sauce is beginning to simmer and you see a few bubbles, it's time to add in your fresh cheese tortellini. This has not been boiled ahead of time. This is straight out of the bag. No need to boil it when you're gonna, you know, boil it in sauce. Once your cheese tortellini has been added into the sauce, it is now time to add back in your sausage and just dump it all in there, all the juices, all of that. Now listen, get you a real good spoon and you stir in and fold that sausage and tortellini all in that sauce until it's well coated and delicious. Ooh, look at it. But you gotta season. First, add in about a teaspoon of coriander. I'm guessing y'all know I don't know. Season the taste. That's coriander. Followed up by some allspice. A good dash of that. Next up, ground cloves. Just good dash. Maybe two good dashes. That's it. And is anything pumpkin without some nutmeg? Add two good dashes of nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. And you know you can't say that Jade made anything if it doesn't have pepper. So add about a good sprinkle of ground white pepper and a pinch of red pepper flakes. This is definitely to taste. Don't say Jay burned your mouth up. I told you. Stir to combine and reduce the heat. Food has to do with preferences. So if you like your stick like this, you can leave it. If you like for your pumpkin sauce to be a little thinner, add just a little bit of water or you can use milk or heavy cream. I use water just to thin it out a small amount, not too much. Do whatever works for you because guess what, baby? You are done. Go ahead and get that shredded or that shaved Parmesan cheese, Italian cheese, sprinkle it all on top. Then get your fried sage leaves and throw those right on top because a little bit of green make it look real good. And that's it, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Fork and Photo, and go ahead and make it. Don't forget to tag me when you do.